We're in a uh, stand of old growth similar to in a large second growth, dead, most of it, um, similar to what we saw uh, in the stump pattern. We're seeing a pattern of large, giant, older trees, and then a secondary pattern of, of uh, younger second growth, maybe 100, 150 years of age. And then we're seeing a migration, an in-migration of young uh, saplings that are probably 20, 30, 40 years of age. So the majority of the stems are these young saplings. The second uh, largest group are the second growth that got established 100 or 150 years ago. And then the uh, threatened trees are the old growth. Um, if we look around in the tops of the trees, we'll see those that are furthest away from the encroaching 60 and 80 year old, many of them still have living tops. And some of those trees are going to live, they're going to produce cones, they're going to ha help repopulate the area. We see most of the other trees are crowned out and we can see the succession of age groups that led to that crowning. We can also see that these remaining fuels around here, uh, as they fall over and maybe knock into the uh, few remaining leaf trees um, or catch fire again and radiate heat through those and, and further girdle them or put fuels on the ground that burn and girdle them. Uh, these trees here are a threat to the remaining uh, green trees. Uh, also, these grasses here, bunch grasses with uh, beautiful flower stalks, whatever the heck they are, um, and the azalea, uh, those are good indicators that this was an open shaded canopy uh, just like we can tell. There was an older age group for maybe centuries there were five or ten trees an acre here and then maybe for a century there were 30 or 50 trees an acre here and then for the last 30 or 40 years there were all the ladder fuels, a couple hundred trees an acre here and then there was the uh, predictable uh, catastrophic fire that uh, swept up into the upper reaches of the second growth and into the upper reaches of the old growth and killed them. Uh, the good news is, is that they released these uh, grasses and other uh, forbs throughout the area and put the at least the understory vegetation back into a um, an earlier cycle. We've got one more thing over here. Uh, these seedlings here, we've got three trees and, and a foot next to the trail. Uh, these are going to grow up, shade out the grasses again, shade out the azaleas, and um, if they're not crushed by these overstory trees or fried the next time the, the fire comes through here, these will then turn into a canopy of fuels over 20 or 40 or 60 or 80 years that will once again threaten the old growth. So the question is, do we want to manage for the grass, in which case we've got to start getting rid of these uh, conifer seedlings and manage for the wildflowers and, and the azaleas and the shrubs and the uh, berry plants? Do we want to manage and manage for the old growth at the same time? Or do we want to see what happens when we uh, passively manage the land and let just fire come through here uh, every so often?